the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Layers of Fear 2. And uh, we are exploring in a mess of mess, and uh, this does not seriously look like a boat of any kind, but there is a lot going on here. All right. We're losing our marbles, that's for certain. It's a nautical misadventure of massive mental proportions. I don't know where that came from, but I like it. What did I say? Anyway, oh, hello. Let's just go ahead and follow the chalk and put it real quick, though. Ah, mementos. I'll take it, and then we'll look at it later, I think, possibly. And, uh, yeah. What's that? I don't know. What's in here? What's in here? What's in everywhere? Ooh, thingies! Mr. Hardy is the quartermaster, and that is a very important thing because a quartermaster takes care of getting the crew where it needs to be and also makes sure there's plenty of food and rum for everyone. Mr. Hardy is very loyal to the captain and always follows orders because he knows that he, the captain, not Mr. Hardy, is a fearless leader. The captain sometimes gets crossed with Mr. Hardy, but that's only because he cares greatly for the whole crew. The truth is, bottom of page torn off. Drat! I suppose it's for the... Not for the best, but, uh... It's something. I can't go in there. What about... Is that where I was heading? I don't know. Oh, it's where we're heading now, so... And we have no choice but to move forward now, so... Yuppie. Oh. Joyful. More of you! Oh! It's a Nickelodeon! What now? That door's locked. Hello, Mr. Deer. Why am I not casting a shadow? That's mildly creepy. Or maybe it's just me overreacting or something. Hello. Oh, now we're going to have some kind of spooky thing happen where the door is real and we walk through. Yes, there we go. And now everything is grainy and black and white. Not anymore, but still. Whoa. You're spooky. Flies and a kid's tricycle. What is this? A nautical version of The Shining? What the heck? Do we go up here? Screw it. I'm gonna go up here. What is this? Ooh, hi. It's a photograph. But I can't take it with me? Poopy. I liked it though. Have a nice day. Okie dokie. Was not expecting that. Uh, at least it was just a mannequin. And not a real human being. Or maybe the mannequins would be mad if they heard me say that. What am I saying? I don't know. We always come with a burden. Okay, Dr. Claw. What is this? What's going on? What am I looking at? Why are there so many boots on the table? Did not expect to see that. Figures, faces, voices from the past, wrapped in a heavy old bag. Okay. Is it supposed to be that choppy? What's in here? A photograph. Neat. 
I like it. But what's that got to do with this? Also, what are you guys up to? You have a particularly hard carved face. It was not sanded properly yet. Do I Okay. Just head on down here. Over to the over to the here. Maybe. First thing to do is to get rid of it. Get rid of what? What is it? Are you are, are you talking about like Mad science switch. Go. A little spark is all it takes to set the human soul on fire. Okay. That wasn't a. That wasn't really a soul. It was just a mannequin. I hope. Or maybe it is the dolls of New Albion, and the soul was attached to that doll. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, I feel sorry for you, but check it out. Paul Shapira's uh, The Dolls of New Albion, a steampunk opera. Uh, that's what these mannequins remind me of the most. Of anything in here, that's what they remind me of. Anyway. An act of creation always begins with an act of destruction. Not necessarily. Gimme. What is this? Is it a chocolate malt ball? I'll take that. Hello, sir. I stole your malt ball. All right. Now what? What do you ex? What? What? Are when life ends, another begins. That's the circle of life. One life ends. The right one. Ooh, making me choose which one to shoot. Which fancy hat do I like the least? Um, ooh, ooh, decisions, decisions. Ooh. Why wait? Uh, because I'm trying to decide. Don't push me! All right. Okay. Venom wants me to shoot one. I'll shoot one. Wait. Action. There we go. A life for life. One must be taken. Well, I tried, but you didn't right. let me. One. Oh, I get it. The right. You want me to shoot the one on the right. It's too bad. I want to shoot the one on the left. You look, but do not see. Fine. I. Shoot. Now you're just making it more difficult. The simple task and the execution. Truthful, instinctive, pure. That'll do for now. Okay. Thank you, Venom. But seriously. Why What was that? The illusion of choice? I don't get it. I just know that... At least I didn't have to eat somebody's pancreas. Moseying onward through the dark and through the strange and through the everything wicked. What is this all about? What madness am I putting myself through? And what has become of my sanity, if it was ever there to begin with? Hmm? All right, what's in here? <gasps> Paint. This is more of a callback to the first layers of fear. It, I'm, I'm. Pretty damn sure of that. I mean, what else could it be? Hello? Got a drippy bucket catching water from a substandard 
spot in the pipes. Ooh, what's going on in here? Whoa! Don't do that! Hammer and a rolly cat toy. Neat. Which way to go? Which way to go? I don't think it matters. I'm gonna go this way anyway. Oh! No point, I suppose. Fine. I guess it does matter. Because there's only one way to go. Because... Dick. Not dick, but you know what I mean. Alright. Moseying on. No more interruptions from a uh, symbiote. But, now what? We're in the, the world of black and white again. Do I sit down in the chair? Do I... Do I just turn around and go back? Or do I go through here? I think I go through here. I'm... I have a shadow now. Oh, don't do that! Don't do that! Hi! Where do I go now? Do I duck under? I can't duck under. I guess I gotta turn around now. And things will be mysteriously changed. As per usual, I suppose. You weren't there before. Hello. You weren't there before. None of this was here before, so... Enjoy a nice cool breeze. Let's be friends. Shall we? Now what? Oh, hi. Um... I'm not entirely comfortable with this. Oh, hi. You guys are changing positions on me left and right, and uh... Thank you for pointing the way. But don't shoot me with your imaginary gun. Please. Alright, cool. This way? Ooh. Strangeness. Bizarre. Is this going to be heaven? It's awfully bright. Oh. Wow. That is actually really bright. The contrast? Whoa. Excuse me? What the hell is... Um... Hi! What the hell was that?! Do I dare approach it? Painful emergence from the inky black? <laughs> Dude! Stop with that shit! Oh! Crackers! <laughs> okay. You're just gonna throw it all at me at once? Okay, fine. That's cool. Alright. Now what? More snipes? More, more stupid jump scares to make me piss my pants and jump Look like a silly goof. Mr. Hardy. This chart will lead us away from peril and into safe harbor. All right. Cool. How does it help me? I don't know. Anyway, I need a moment to recollect myself, I suppose, after that random bit of super jump scare. Not wasn't really a super jump scare, but it was it did make me jump quite a bit. <laughs> as you saw. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.